Welcome back. And as I promised you, not a day is going to go by between now and what they're calling an election without another at least minor bombshell. Another one today. The FBI files reveal missing boxes of email in the Clinton case and allegations of evidence tampering. Oh, say it ain't so. It couldn't be. I'll tell you this, I still say that FBI Director James Comey should resign in disgrace. He should also be indicted and stand trial for RICO, collusion, all kinds of things. This is so out of control, it's not funny. And I just, I will go to my grave wondering how anyone who, who pretends to be an American citizen, an American patriot, an American, can for a moment countenance, let alone support or endorse, the candidacy of an outrageous felony criminal named Hillary Rodham Diane Clinton. This is, it's beyond belief. We must be the laughing stock of the intelligent world, and then some. Here with us this first hour tonight, and I can't wait to talk to Andy, is Andy Goss, usgoldcoins.com. Andy, it is truly beyond description. Exactly what I expected. No different than what I expected. And I assure you, if this opportunity passes and Mr. Trump does not win the election, we will never see another event like this again. No, it's they over. We will not allow it to go this far. Absolutely not. You know, when we were talking during the primaries, I likened it to the independent race car driver against, you know, 16 other drivers on the same team. And yeah, yeah. Now, now, now that we've progressed to the general election, and after every little dirty trick you could imagine to try to knock this guy out of the box, now everything is on the table. So I would bet tomorrow, Jeff, when we get the jobs numbers for the month, yeah. that they're going to indicate some sort of a record that can then be revised next month. Oh, sure. Um, so everybody's in the bag for Hillary Clinton. What's happened since last we spoke? President George, former President H.W. George H. Mm -hmm. The dad, mm -hmm. Poppy Bush. Yeah. He's, he's voting for Clinton? Yep. I, I, okay, yep. so when, when those forces aligned against her, USA Today, since last we spoke, made its first presidential endorsement, I think, in its history. I think you're right. And, and it wasn't Donald Trump. Okay. Uh, the I, Arizona I, Republic. And and then now yesterday I also heard about voter fraud. What a surprise. But, uh, but, where but, voters, who, people who register to vote, don't have to show any uh -huh. ID or any... North any Carolina. That they're, no, yeah. North Carolina made it a law. They don't have to show any identification whatsoever. You can just show up and vote. What the hell is it? Well, why be a citizen? What does citizenship right. mean? What does citizenship exactly. mean? Now, let me go back to your newspaper point. It's, this is important. Yep. Dear friends, we've all heard of the term the law of averages, right? <laughs> law of averages. Yep. There's always right. a split. You're going to get some this way, some that. Just the law of averages. That's right. That's right. I'm going to, I'm going to tell you, if you saw the story today, you'll know what I'm going to tell you, but I'm going to tell you that the top 100 newspapers in these formerly United States of America, all of them endorsed <laughs> Hillary. Not a single one of them. And you, this is, this is the, the grandeur of greed at its worst. These bastards are so greedy. They couldn't even let Trump have four or five to make it look credible. A hundred to That's none. Right. This is insane. That's right. Now, as you and I have discussed long before Donald Trump ever decided that uh, he was going to run for president, uh, the six corporations in America control 90% of the media, yep. right? Yep. So, you know, once what they say goes, and I know I, I saw that memo firsthand that circulated Goldman Sachs. You will not donate to Donald Trump. You will not. Or goodbye. And so, 
<laughs> yeah, right. Or worse. There was no or. <laughs> there was no or. <laughs> there's, no. No, there's no or. You will not donate to Donald Trump. And so, you know, what I said from the beginning of the primaries is the closer and closer he gets, uh, the more the forces will align themselves against him and that you would know because they, they'll overdo it, Jeff, and they'll reveal themselves. That's exactly what they And doing. you've just illustrated number one point. When all 100 of the top 100 uh, endorse his opponent, then you got to think about what uh, Ted Nugent says, right? Because, yeah. you know, I can articulate easily to anyone who wants to debate why I would pick Donald Trump over Hillary Clinton. And it has nothing to do with her lying or her, you know, husband's infidelities or her past history, which Lord knows is legion, but it has everything to do with what is an articulated tax policy, what instances will bring jobs back to America, and that's what they're really afraid of. I actually found myself in a debate yesterday with a liberal who said, well, how? You tell me how Donald Trump is going to make the Mexicans pay for the wall. Oh, my. And okay, I said, the Mexicans have a $50 billion trade deficit with the United States, which means that they take $50 billion hard dollars out of our economy into Mexico, and they pay no tax. Now, how many Americans get to make $50 billion? Well, Donald gets to make a billion without paying any tax. Ha, ha, ha. You know, he's a billionaire. He makes and loses billions of dollars. No one should be surprised. But what is, he's an American citizen. What right does the Mexican uh, economy have to take $50 billion from the U.S. economy and not pay any tax? So I suggest if you want to keep your tax-exempt status that you build this damn wall. And if not, then a 10% tax on $50 billion a year is $5 billion. There's your wall. We'll build the wall. Yeah. Of course, people don't sure. understand. And you, 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 another thing, Andy, very quickly, all, all these people who support Hillary, many of them are on the lower echelon of, of the income in our society. They don't make a lot of money. They don't understand yeah. that Donald Trump cares about them and has said unequivocally that anyone earning $50,000 a year or less will no longer pay income tax. These people don't know that. Right. That message has not been pounded over and over and over again. It should have been. Well, Half of the people that support state. Hillary are liberal lefty losers who do not have an income. Not fifty right. grand a year. No. And they're going and to be exempt from tax. Donald has wandered off message, and he, you know, he took the bait so poorly. Oh. And the only thing in the first, in the first debate, the only thing I was hoping, uh, you're, uh, you're old enough that I can ask this question. Forgive me, Jeff, you don't look as old as I am, but I know that you are. How, do you, how did Muhammad Ali fool his opponents? You remember the rope the dope? Oh, I was cheering. <laughs> Yeah, of course, George he would Foreman. Pretend to be, he would mm -hmm. pretend to be an average fighter and, you know, act exhausted and drop his, uh, his guard and uh, allow his opponent to just pummel away. And then the opponent got confident, so confident that he when the bell rang himself. again and, yeah, yep. exactly, exactly. So I'm hoping that that was, uh, you know, round one of the rope-a-dope that, Trump gave her, and so now that's what she's, that's the Donald Trump she's expecting, and uh, I'm hoping that the real Donald Trump comes out and articulates that message. Cut the corporate tax rate to 15%, you'll get a flood of new corporations. Cut the income tax, you'll get a flood of new workers. Why work when you, by the time you pay taxes, you're better off staying home, collecting, staying on the dole, get your food stamps, your free health care, and so forth. By the time you total all that up, it's sure not worth going out and working 40 hours. You got it. So I can understand yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. No, absolutely correct. Uh, these points are crucial. If you were to confront the average Hillary backer, who makes 30000 a year? I, I know you do. I'm speaking yeah. rhetorically to everyone out there. <laughs> a ask them this. You know, how would you Why like... do you support Hillary? Yeah. I, well, that, that's for openers, but then if they... <laughs> give you any crap to say how would you like to no longer have to pay any income, income tax and so what what are you talking about and you tell him right. Donald Trump his I position do. is yeah. nobody who makes $50,000 yeah. a year or less will pay any more income tax right
right. Get it? I can articulate that again. That and cutting the corporate tax rate to fifty. Oh, that's the biggest of all. Jobs. That's that's huge. Yeah, they come back to America. Yeah. Jobs come here by the tens of thousands, and you can get any job you want with a higher rate of pay than you would if there's a lot of people looking for a few jobs. So, yeah, I can articulate it to them. But when I ask them why do you support Hillary, the answer I get is, well, because Donald Trump's a racist. Oh God. Oh God. You know, it's like, well, what does that have to do with why you support Hillary? I get it. You don't like Donald Trump. Tell me why you like Hillary Clinton. Please tell me, do you think her tax policy of 40%, oh, I'm going to tax the rich and invest in America. Okay, yeah, that's a great idea. I'm going to create all these new jobs. How are you going to create jobs, Hillary? Well, I'm going to hire people to fix the roads and the bridges. Great. So you can hire yourself to paint your house. Is that going to make you more productive? Is that going to make you any more money? No, you need a trade deficit like Mexico gets. You need positive money. And the only way you get that is to bring the corporations back with the jobs that they took to China and India, Mexico, and everywhere else. How do you do that? Give them incentive, for goodness sake. You can't force people to pay 40% tax. And now she's saying she's going to raise the tax on the wealthiest Americans. Well, what do you think they're going to do? They're going to pack up their jet skis and head for, you know, Dubai. They're out of here so They're, fast. They're yeah, out of here. Exactly. See, that's communism. And, uh, that's communism. That's redistribution well, of wealth. They're going to take it. She's yeah. an idiot. That whole policy is insanity. Andy has just I articulated it all perfectly. Well, that's, again, why I have no trouble with any Hillary uh, uh, supporter. No. I no. won't demean you. I just want to know why you think your candidate is better. Andy at AndyGoss.com. Let me know. And But I doubt many of you are listening, except uh, at uh, places where we don't want you listening. So yeah. what are you going to do? It's, it's all beyond belief when you think about it. Her answer is to tax the people. Literally, to take the fuel from the engine of America. Yeah. The, the rich right. are the fuel that make this country happen. They are the fuel that creates jobs, yeah. that create industries. Yeah. Now, she's the, the inference and the implication is that rich people are bad. They need to be punished. That's communism. She's crazy. That's what it is. And, and this what, is absolutely what else is, insane. The American dream. What else is the American dream, that, Jeff, than to work hard, improve yourself, oh, and take absolutely. a shot at being rich. That's, you got it. that's what we all want to do. Oh, see, being rich is now right? evil. Like being a patriot no. is now evil. You be a patriot, yeah. you're bad. Oh, you're bad. You've got to get on a list. Yeah. Turn your neighbor in. You see an American flag out there, turn him in. It's coming. Hey, have you, uh, the Oath Keepers, speaking on that subject, yeah. the Oath Keepers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are, well, they made somehow the terrorist watch list here yeah. in New Jersey. I, I I was surprised to see that happen, but I read it today on, you ready? Bloomberg mm -hmm. online. Uh, it tells me that the uh, Oath Keepers are a bunch of um, terrorists, domestic terrorists. Oh, any, yeah. I'm oh, looking is... for any other names of known terrorist groups, but all that I could find were these types of groups. Domestic mm -hmm. terrorists, they call them. Mm -hmm. They uh, have this homegrown. unrealistic, yeah. yeah, homegrown. They have this unrealistic belief in the Constitution, and they keep going around quoting the Constitution. And boy, a bunch of subversives, these guys. We oh, need that's to bring a, them in control. That's a <laughs> very, very subversive document. Anybody who quotes <laughs> that is obviously yeah. untrustworthy and a threat to our security. Mm -hmm. Clearly, yeah. it's a it's a yeah. document about terrorism ultimately look at those those people yeah, they it. fought the king they of england they were terrorists, terrorists. <laughs> well that's right i think they were instead of <laughs> bounty on all their heads man you know hey they had to flee every time they saw the the king's men coming they were a bunch of rebels terrorists illegally armed i don't know what else they were doing but it i'm sure it wasn't yeah. good all true, and, you know, I, again, l listen to the points Andy has just elucidated, and I'm sure most of you understand this very well. The The whole idea of, of lowering the corporate tax rate is a monumental platform to stand on. Huge, unprecedented. The biggest tax restructure and economic growth stimulator in American history is sitting right yes. in front of us. Period. Yep. And she wants to raise for, it. Uh -huh. Right. And then the idea of tariffs. Huh. Yeah. 
That that is such. They they. I mean, it's like, oh my goodness, we would never take that medicine. You know, kind of like stop taking this thing that's poisoning you. No, we like it. We're not going to stop. So no way, tariffs, not a chance. Why? Because we'll ignite a trade war. Aww. Is it a trade war? We're losing. I said Mexico is fifty billion. You know what the total for all the countries is? Eight hundred billion dollars a year, mm -hmm. nearly a trillion dollars of American wealth being siphoned out of this country every year with zero tax. Why is that good for us? Wouldn't it make more sense to get maybe, let's say, 10% of that right here back in the United States? So if we ignite a trade war, how can it hurt us any worse than we already are hurt? They're not going to, what, buy our products? Great. Then what will we retaliate with? A stiffer tax on theirs. So I'm, um, I'm sorry, but I, I'm all for raising the living standard of the rest of the world. I'm not for doing it with American jobs. And more importantly, if right. they're going to take American wealth and rebuild their cities, why should foreign corporations and individuals be able to make money in the United States and not pay tax like the rest of us? You want to holler at Donald Trump? Why don't you holler at Mitsubishi? You know, they make billions in the United States and pay no income tax. They take it all back to Japan, and it's taxed there. Same for the Chinese and everyone else. So why is it? fair for Americans to pay 40% and American corporations 40% when foreign corporations get a total pass? Hell, I want to be a foreign corporation then. So you see how the incentive is in place for them to get up and leave. Uh -huh. Remove that incentive, they'll stay and come back. You bet. It, it's, it's, it's a no-brainer. How anyone can uh -huh. even stand on the other side of that issue, I don't get it. It's like standing in front of this Hurricane Matthew, you're going to get knocked over. It's a no-brainer. Well, because in, in theory, Jeff, free trade is American, is apple pie. You know, we oh. don't want interference. We're all about right. free markets, and right. you sell us your stuff, we'll sell you our stuff. Nobody charges and, a tax. Unfortunately, nobody plays by we're the, the only rules. Ones that, we're the only ones that play by the rules, exactly. So, you know, you make these kind of deals, and then the other side cheats, and you just sit there and take it. You know, America's steel companies had to file a suit themselves. The administration wouldn't back them up. This, I mean, this, that is, kind of nonsense. Well, this is not an, an administration of by and for the people. This is an administration oh. of by and for the destruction of America. That first debate, Demonstrably. Uh, yeah. please, and if you haven't seen it, by all means, go and look at the video of the first debate and how the Clintons, once again, the criminal Clintons, rigged it. She had the questions in advance. Uh, that Lester Holt is a total fraud. She clearly yes. was signaling him, clearly with the, the hand gestures in the face. You saw it. Uh, she had an yep. earbud. She had a speaker. They were talking to her. She had uh, notes, cheat notes, crib rigged, notes. Rigged can be. <laughs> she had yeah. uh, a light, a light of some kind in her specially built podium to make her look more or less the same uh, height and reasonably as Donald. But that light yeah. in the podium went out as soon as the debate ended, and then two people came and took things off that podium. You saw all this, Andy. Oh, sure. They, 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 they took the electronics out from underneath of it. Uh, those were the uh, the transmission receive. They were it was a there was a damn prompter in there, and they were feeding her cue lines, and they were talking there to no her in rules. her ears. This, there he, are no rules against it. There are he, no rules against it. <laughs> this yeah. is the thing. Yeah. You, you remember when this first started happening in football? Where the coach oh, oh, was yeah. sending signals to the crew. Yeah. 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 And the other teams cried the same thing. Foul, foul. Well, <laughs> this is performance art, but the Clintons are the most expert in the entire world. The yeah. Clintons and those that surround them. So I'm not surprised that they would do all this or that they would stack the deck in the favor of Ms. Clinton in every way that they possibly could. We just demonstrated how the newspapers did. Why would we expect that the TV would be any different?